Deep in the heart of the Amazon rainforest, where sunlight barely penetrates and the dense canopy blocks the sight of prying eyes, a mysterious secret has been hidden for millennia. After years of research and excavation, scientists have finally revealed an ancient civilization in the Amazon, and it's unlike anything we've ever seen before. In today's video, we'll take a deep dive into one of the most remarkable archaeological discoveries of our time. Imagine a civilization that was thriving in the hostile environment of the Amazon rainforest thousands of years ago. This is not just a story of ancient ruins and intricate architectural wonders, but also one about a highly advanced society that had mastered sustainable agriculture and complex engineering, and had developed a deep knowledge of the natural world. You don't want to miss a second of this video as we explore the mysteries surrounding this ancient civilization and what its existence could mean for our understanding of human history. So, stay tuned to find out what surprises the Amazon jungle has been keeping all these years. The Amazon rainforest is the largest and most diverse tropical rainforest in the world, covering an area of over 6.7 million square kilometers. It is located in South America serving as home to millions of species of flora and fauna. It has also been a source of fascination among scientists and explorers for centuries. But what if I told you that there is more to the Amazon than meets the eye? What if I told you that a team of archaeologists has made an astonishing discovery deep in the heart of the jungle? For decades, experts believed that this rainforest was simply too hostile and too remote to ever have supported cities. This was until recently when scientists began finding man-made ditches and mounds spread all over the area. Now, archaeologists claim that they finally know the answer to a long-lasting mystery. Is it true that the Amazon rainforest was home to millions of unknown people before the Europeans arrived in America in the 16th century? If yes, where is this lost Amazonian civilization today? Previously, Archaeologists used to argue that the Amazon's nutrient-poor soil was incapable of supporting large-scale agriculture and that would have prevented tropical civilizations similar to those found in Central America from arising in the Amazon. However, by the 2000s, this archaeological belief was starting to shift. Some researchers hypothesized that strangely high concentrations of domesticated plants as well as patches of nutrient-rich soil have been created by humans. This could indicate that ancient organized societies once inhabited the region and shaped their environment. This theory gained further support after a team of archaeologists reported hundreds of large geometric mounds discovered due to deforestation in the southern Amazon rainforest. But there is no direct evidence of settlement. During one of the excavations, Heiko Prumers, a German archaeologist, and his colleagues discovered what appeared to be a wall indicating that the area had once been occupied by a permanent settlement. Researchers later discovered graves, rectangular platforms, and artifacts that may serve as evidence of a complex society. However, the dense canopy made it difficult for them to survey the site using traditional methods. While urban ruins remain extremely difficult to find in thick, remote forests, a key technology helped change the game. Perched in a helicopter some 650 feet up, scientists used light-based remote sensing technology, known as LIDAR, to generate a 3D image of the ground below. This LiDAR system fires down a grid of infrared beams, hundreds of thousands per second, and when each beam strikes something on the Earth's surface, it bounces back with a measure of distance. This produces an enormous cloud of data points, which can be fed into computer software that creates high-resolution images on which scientists can digitally deforest the Amazon. By scrubbing away trees, the maps reveal the Earth's surface and the archaeological features on it. Curious about what a decade of archaeological work in the Amazon region has shown? Let's find out. The captured satellite images clearly reveal the size and shape of 26 unique sites, including 11 that were previously unknown. Among these sites were two large urban centers, Kotoka and Landavar. They were believed to constitute a major part of a larger network of settlements for the mysterious Kasarabe culture. According to experts, these settlements could have been home to at least 60,000 people, which is much bigger than many European countries back then. The Kasarabe certainly aren't as well known as the Maya. If you try to search for the Kasarabe culture in a search engine, you won't find much. So who were the Kasarabe? Known to have existed down in the Llanos de Mojos region of the Amazon basin between 8500 and 1400, the Kasarabe culture takes its name from a modern-day town located close to where sites like Kotoka and Landivar were first found. 
They were more numerous than previously thought and they had developed an extensive civilization that was finally adapted to the unique environment they lived in. They were chiefly agriculturists and skilled architects as well. The scale of the architectural remnants at these sites, which include earthen pyramids that once towered more than 20 meters over the surrounding savanna, cannot be overstated and is on par with that of any ancient society. The civic ceremonial architecture of these large settlement sites, Kotoka and Landivar, includes step platforms, on top of which lie monumental structures like U-shaped temples, rectangular platform mounds, and conical pyramids up to 22 meters tall. Extending out in a 500 square kilometer area from the center of Kotoka, long straight causeways connected various raised mounds of smaller scope, suggesting that Kotoka's urbanism was spread out, but also slightly contained by the low vying watered ground. All these settlements are embedded in a human engineered landscape with a massive water control and distribution system designed to maximize food surpluses to support the large Kasarabe population. An outstanding feature of the settlements is the way by which the Kasarabe built them within a massive infrastructure of canals and reservoirs for the management of water. Along with roads and causeways, these waterways radiated out in all directions from the major centers and represented a major investment in landscape management and labor mobilization. According to archaeologists, this system may have been used to control the seasonal flooding of the region and to allow the farming of maize and other crops in raised areas. It is also possible that some reservoirs were used for farming fish, which was an essential source of protein for people at that time. This construction work involved the mass movement of soils, the transformation of local topography, soil enrichment, and changes in vegetation composition. Artificial canals and causeways provided transport and communication links, helping to not only mitigate the damage from seasonal floods but actively manage the water levels. Lagoons and weirs were created to aid fishing, while other earthwork formations were designed to drive wild animals onto designated patches of dry land where they could be more easily hunted. Despite lacking vital resources such as local sources of stone and domesticated animals, these ancient societies completely reshaped their surroundings, building an array of earthwork structures for homes, agriculture, religious ceremonies, and burial grounds that enabled them to thrive in a landscape that even today can prove highly testing. What happened to the Kasarabe and their settlements remains a mystery, but radiocarbon dating at the site suggests that their occupation ended around 1400 CE prior to the European arrival to the Amazon. It is well known that severe droughts have been widespread in the Amazon region several times in history. That might have happened to the Kasarabe culture as well. Other theories propose that disease was the primary cause of the massive population decline. Smallpox was the first disease introduced to the indigenous people, which caused all traces of living Kasarabe culture to be wiped out. The fact that native inhabitants were completely defenseless against the epidemics adds up. They have never been exposed to contagious infections before, and their lack of knowledge about the disease aided the spread of the infectious agents. Although it faced an unknown fate, the Kasarabe culture that thrived in the Amazon basin adds to the growing evidence that the Amazon isn't actually one of the world's great untouched wilderness areas, and wasn't even an empty forest until relatively modern times. The discovery of an ancient civilization in the Amazon is just the beginning. As archaeologists continue to reveal more evidence, we may be able to piece together a complete picture of the people who once lived in the Amazonian region. One thing is for sure, this discovery has opened up a whole new chapter in the history of this amazing area. It has also changed the general perspective people have about the Amazon. However, it is believed that current logging and farming in the Amazon basin are almost certainly destroying important archaeological sites that have yet to be discovered. Fortunately, the growing interest in Amazonian archaeology may lead to the protection of such vulnerable areas. And with that, we'll leave you with this stunning view of the discovered ancient city in the Amazon rainforest, a testament to the incredible ingenuity and creativity of the people who live there. What are your thoughts about the lost Kasarabe civilization? Feel free to let us know in the comments section below. Thank you for watching and as always, stay tuned for more exciting discoveries in the future.